Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over some of the stages and facts of the nitrogen cycle. Now, one problem that we're going to encounter when you talk about the nitrogen cycle is that the majority of our atmosphere, about 78% of our atmosphere, is filled with nitrogen. But that's not the problem. The problem is that the nitrogen's unusable to life. When you look at this picture right here, N2 is the chemical formula for the atmospheric nitrogen. And notice how there are triple bonds. There's a triple bond holding this nitrogen, atmospheric nitrogen N2 together. Triple bonds are very, very stable, hard to break. So that's the reason why uh, nitrogen is just not usable to most forms of life. Most forms of life can't break the triple bonds. But there are some forms that can, and you'll get into that in just a moment. So nitrogen is really important, and one reason is because it helps to build DNA molecules. Here's a double helix in the picture, and if we look at this picture right here, remember it reminds us what a nucleotide is. DNA is made from a whole, a whole large collection of nucleotides, and one of the parts of a nucleotide is called a nitrogenous base. A nitrogen base, therefore implying it's made from nitrogen. So nitrogen is at the very heart of DNA molecules one of the reasons why we need to understand how the nitrogen cycle works. So let's go ahead and look at the cycle now. Step one, we're gonna, I broke this down into six different areas in the picture. So area one, step one. Bacteria are gonna do a process called nitrogen fixation. In the animation, the bacteria in the animation are taking in atmospheric nitrogen, N2. N2 molecule uh, from the atmosphere. And they're going to do the process called nitrogen fixation, and they're going to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonium. And from the animation, you can see ammonium's formula is NH4. So that right there is the first step, the process called nitrogen fixation. But then next comes step number two, which is a process called nitrification. Similar in name, however, there's a bit of a difference. Nitrification still uses soil bacteria. Notice in area two of the animation, NH4, which is the ammonium, is going to be converted into NO3, which are nitrates. This is a more usable form. So the purpose of nitrogen fixation and nitrification is to convert atmospheric nitrogen, which is not usable really, into more usable forms. So that's the, uh, the job of area number two of, of the bacteria in area number two called nitrification. Well, there's still bacteria in area number three, and these bacteria in area number three do a process called denitrification. So like it says in the notes, soil bacteria are going to use those nitrates. The NO3 is the nitrates, and in the word denitrify, you can see that they're going to remove the nitrogen. So they're going to denitrify the nitrates. So they're getting rid of the nitrogen. It's a waste gas to them, but they're using the oxygen for their cellular needs. So notice when you look at the animation, we already have a nitrogen cycle. We already have a complete cycle involving just bacteria, and we haven't even gotten to plants and animals yet. So when we look at the uh, area four of our diagram, we're now going to involve plants. There's a plant in the middle of the picture that's symbolic of our producer. And in the arrows, the arrows, you can see that NO3, the nitrates, are being absorbed through the roots of the plant. Well, now that there's nitrogen in the plant, I hope it's pretty straightforward, what happens next? Nitrogen simply moves up the food chain. We have a little rodent in area number five of our picture, and nitrogen is going from the plant into the rodent. That's because the rodent eats the plant. And so nitrogen simply moves up the food chain. A snake might eat the rodent, a hawk might eat a snake, and so on up the food chain. And then we have some decomposers in the middle of the picture. And it says decomposers are going to obtain nitrogen by feeding on the dead. So in the animation, there's nitrogen going from the plant and from the rodent. Because when plants and rodents die, their dead remains are fed on by decomposers, such as bacteria and fungus. Well, every organism creates waste, and decomposers are no different. 
Their uh, decomposers are responsible for a process called ammonification. And in the word ammonification, I hope you can see the prefix for ammonium. What ammonification is, it completes this cycle, is decomposers will give off NH4. We saw NH4 earlier. NH4 is ammonium, which is created by the nitrogen-fixing bacteria. So notice how we have almost like the, uh, an outer cycle in the animation and almost like an inner cycle in the animation. But notice how there is a complete nitrogen cycle when you examine this animation here. The main trick, of course, is to understand the various efficacies, the ammonifications, the nitrogen fixations. That's going to be the challenge for you this chapter. So before we're finished, I want to mention the role that lightning has in the nitrogen cycle. Lightning can help break apart some of that N2. Remember, N2, atmospheric nitrogen, is really stable. And so one way that, that the N2, the atmospheric nitrogen, can be broken apart is through the energy within lightning. In our animation, we have some lightning bolts flashing, and watch what happens. The N2s and the O2s that are in the atmosphere are broken apart because the energy from lightning breaks apart the chemical bonds. And so what happens is once, once those N's and O's are broken apart, they're going to bond to form nitrogen oxides like you see right now. Well, one thing you should know is that with lightning often accompanies rain. And so the nitrogen oxides, watch what happens. When it starts raining, the nitrogen oxides are going to react with water to, f to form nitrates, NO3. And you've seen nitrates before. Nitrates were created by nitrogen-fixing bacteria. So once it rains, the nitrates are simply carried down and added into the soil. And th those nitrates simply become a part of the nitrogen cycle. So that's a neat little way that, uh, that lightning can add usable nitrogen into the soil. So wrapping up, here's a little practice quiz. Go ahead and pause the video. And if you're in my biology class, by all means, write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. And I'd be happy to check your, check your answers before or after class one day. So go ahead and pause the video. Good luck.